What's up guys, this is KD Cloudy and I already posted a video on iOS 15 running on an iPhone but this video is about iPad OS running on this iPad mini 5th gen and I guess this is my third straight year of making a video like this uh, and it's become like a tradition at this point but I mean it makes sense right everybody talks about how great is iPad OS uh, on their large uh, expensive iPad Pros but nobody really talks about the little guy so that's what I'm about to do uh, to see uh, what features do you get what features you don't get are there any bugs and all that so yeah let's get into it okay now if I had to condense all of the new exclusive iPad OS stuff there are basically only three of them uh, the first one are some uh, Apple Pencil exclusive features the second one are some new multitasking tricks and the third one are widgets on the home screen along with the app library there's also a fourth one uh you know universal control but that's more towards mac os monterey so i'll cover that later but yeah let's stick with the first three now okay so for the apple pencil stuff you have basically now two cool new gestures first is swiping up from the bottom left corner and the bottom right corner swiping from the bottom left corner will take a screenshot you can adjust stuff you can annotate and save the screenshot that's pretty cool but what's even cooler is when you swipe up from the bottom right corner it pulls up a notes window and you can immediately start taking notes without interrupting anything else and it's in scribble mode so whatever you write it gets converted into text form so i think that's that's pretty cool that's pretty impressive and could be very useful now the next item are new multitasking features and it's technically incorrect to call them multitasking features because it's the same mode split view uh, except now you have a particular button at the top click on which you get three new toggle modes to exactly toggle between split view or slide over or the full windowed app and yeah that's that's all and everything now shows up in this a little different on the uh, multitasking mode and that's basically it i was expecting a little more something like something more comprehensive and more multitasking like even if it was not available for the ipad mini i would have liked some uh, you know to see something like that but yeah that's all we have right now and also in certain tabulated applications uh, you will get to see all of that particular apps instances in a bottom ui so that's also pretty nifty okay now the third and final major change and i say major because it's visually the most different are widgets on the home screen and it's funny because this was actually supposed to ship last year uh, but nevertheless we have it right now but unfortunately on the ipad mini it doesn't work that well for some weird reason the sizing the scaling the dpi is all messed up it's all over the place the widget size aren't really proportionate to the icon sizes and the widgets are actually like smaller than they were before so texts and all these things feel a lot crammed and there are overlapping ui elements and i don't want to kind of complain about it unnecessarily because this is of course the first ever developer beta so things are bound to change things will change in the future and you know this despite being like the first developer beta i was a little shocked to say the least to see these kind of uh, bugs because given the given how strict apple is with these kind of stuff i i expected a little better but you know what this is not at all surprising considering that the size class you know uh the, the ipad mini's design is so old that the size class of this particular device is not in common with any of the recent devices which apple has produced the last device which has like a similar resolution scheme as this one is the very old 9.7 inch ipad so i am not really surprised that they're not kind of uh, optimizing for the ipad mini on day one so maybe things will kind of flatten out as we go as we reach the public beta and this final stable release now apart from the weird resolution glitches i haven't really found any other bugs or performance issues or battery life issues this works as stable as ios 14 so if you can get past that resolution bug uh, then feel free to daily drive this uh, developer beta there's no issue as such and as far as other features go there is no other feature which is not supported by the ipad mini uh, because this runs on the A12 Bionic processor, so things like spatial audio and all that 
will be supported by this which is awesome and yeah then there are other things which i talked about in my previous video like the safari redesign and focus mode and all that stuff which is pretty good considering uh the continuity communications across all the devices in your ecosystem so that stuff is pretty nifty too but yeah other than that that's basically it thank you so much for watching uh if you enjoyed please like subscribe for more videos like this and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers